everyone. This is Dr. Palacios, and I'm here to answer another question regarding migraines. And today's question is more of a topic because it's going to take us into the fundamentals of what kind of pain is a migraine. So the question goes to, how do I know that my pain, my specific headache, is a migraine? Which is a great way to differentiate because not all kinds of headaches are the same. In fact, according to the International Classification of Headache Disorders, version three, there are four different categories, umbrellas of headaches. This information is available for health professionals to help them distinguish between different diagnoses of headaches. So here are the four categories and it goes from the most common to the least common. Most common starts with tension type headaches from 60 to 80% of headache sufferers tend to experience this kind. Then you have migraine sufferers, which is about 15%. And then primary headache disorders, which it's a more of a different sections, different categories, like subcategories. And that's about 4.9% and then cluster headache, which tends to fall in the 0.1%. So in this article and presentation, I'm just briefly gonna talk about how is a migraine headache different from the others? Like what is specific about it? And there are six different qualities that we find. One is the headache is pulsating, which means it's like a throbbing sensation causing pain in a series of regular beats. So sometimes you have the migraine and then you feel like the pulsation of your blood vessels throbbing. And that in itself is a painful experience. So that's what it means by pulsating headache. Uh, second one, pain is moderate to intense. So from a scale of one to 10, one being I have no pain to I can't get out of bed or I can't even do anything because of the pain. A migraine sufferer will be between three to eight. Number three, a migraine headache is worse after performing daily activities or chores. Hence, it's debilitating nature. And number four, the migraine headache tends to be either left-sided or right side in. in. One side of the head tends to hurt. Now, patient to patients have different experiences. And so have I and other people who suffer from migraines. And I can say that not everybody has only one side. Some of us have two sides, but for the most part, it tends to be one-sided. Number five, the headaches last anything between four to 72 hours. So in a small survey in John Hopkins, they discovered that it was about 40% of adult migraine sufferers that tend to suffer the time length of 24 hours, roughly. And then number six, other symptoms with the headache include nausea and vomiting, phonophobia and photophobia that don't happen with other kinds of headaches. Now, phonophobia means that you are not unable to stand loud noises, and photophobia means you're unable to stand bright lights. So those are the six different qualities of what a migraine headache is. And if you think you may have it, please don't self-diagnose and don't seek treatment after thinking that you have a migraine. You have to make sure you go to a professional, a healthcare professional, have him or her take your case, and after the proper diagnosis, you can begin treatment. So I hope this video was helpful. And I hope now you have a better understanding of what is a migraine headache. And remember, if you would like to work together, please click on the link below. I'll be happy to answer more questions as well. And if you liked the video, please subscribe or give it a like. Thank you very much and have a good night.